Oh, you're here. Sorry, I was just cleaning my shop table. <laughs> I guess this has become my presentation table, at least temporarily. But uh, I'm going to show you some cool stuff. And if you're not familiar with it, this is hardware for aluminum extrusion. The stuff is like super beefy. This is like the, what is it, a one, one and a half inch. And then I got some uh, one and a half by three. I'm going to be using these to attach these together and also to the rig. And I got a, you know some various hardware. And uh, I got the kind that takes eight millimeter standard. I got a little bit too long <laughs> of screws to where the, these, these will not fit on their flush. But with a washer or two, this should be fine. I just unnecessarily added some weight to my rig by getting too long of hardware. So make sure you know what the hell millimeters are <laughs> before you order. I, I thought I, I worked this out in my head, but I guess I didn't. This isn't the only eight millimeter hardware I have, but unfortunately, I got a whole bag of it. These are flush mount. They they make a ton of different attachments, but you can see there's a, a small ball bearing right there. Actually, uh, I honestly don't know how they get that in there. I guess they just press fit it in and I don't know, or mold it around it. But anyway, there's a little spring in there. These just slide in like that. And then they stay wherever you put them, you know. So we're gonna attach this stuff to the rig and uh, I'll show you exactly how I do it. Here we go. Loosen them up and we're gonna make sure that they are captured, the bottoms here, with another tool. Okay, so that's on there. Use something longer. We'll use this file. If this seems awkward, it's because it is. Oh no. Okay, there we go. So the hardest part is now done. <laughs> That's one of those moments where we're like, oh no, don't drop it, you know? Now we're gonna take our aluminum profile, the 1.5.1.5. We'll get this first one in. Okay, get the second one started. Okay, I think that's it. Yep. We want to make sure this part's uh, tight so we get an actual uh, ability to center this up. So now these are flush with each other, at least on, on this plane. So now, now we got to work on this plane. We want these as close to the, uh, the seat as possible. Um, okay, that's already pretty solid. So now you can kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. And I'm going to put uh, one more right here. And that's going to be a super solid connection to be able to attach, you know, whatever I want, really. Okay, now we're going to measure, make sure we're all lined up. The one in, shit, whatever that is. Okay, so that should be good right there. I'm just going to loosen up the rear here. But I'm going to unscrew the front bolts all the way. You'll see why in a second. And now, we're going to tilt the seat back. Now we got plenty of room to drill. I'm kind of in the camp of, uh, it makes it more yours when you modify something, you know? It's, it's more of your brain going into it, you know? Okay. Look at that. That's how easily it happens. Bust a fucking knuckle. So now we're going to pop these doodads underneath here. And at this point, we can loosen up and get a little bit of extra clearance to work. There we go. And we're going to go for the back one first. I'm going to use my file method here. And slide her on down. Okay. And this one we can tighten up with our finger because it's close enough. Again, hardware adds up in terms of weight, you know, mostly because it's, you know, a lot of it, a lot of it's steel. So um, the shortest possible hardware is, is always going to be the best bet. So now we're going to need uh, two more of these, and honestly, I should have put these in uh, earlier, but I didn't. You just slide these bad boys on down. 
with pretty much anything. Even your finger. Look at that. She's coming together now, isn't she? Now we can start tightening up all the main joints. And we're golden. Now this is gonna be adding quite a bit of extra weight to only one side of the rig. So that, that could be something to, to watch. I'm not gonna add like an incredible amount of things over here. I'm gonna add a handbrake and an H-pattern shifter. And now all we're gonna do is place this on top of this. And we're gonna place these brackets underneath. I do recommend going with the absolute lightest weight everything. Um, this is supposedly the ultralight. And the lighter you go, the cheaper it is anyway, because it's actually less material. And the first one's in. I'm an idiot. This, this will work perfectly. I'm going to put this on before, and then I'm just going to slide it all in place. I just barely had enough washers for this to work. So yeah, definitely, definitely do your, your homework. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Now it's got to tighten everything down and we are in business. What a wonderful system. Modularity is king because you're always changing your setup. You're always adjusting stuff like to make it a little bit better suited to your play style or whatever types of uh, gaming you're doing. That's, there you go. Okay, let's get this seat back in place and we will position our shifter. That's gonna do nicely, I think. So, I think I might end up having to cut this one in half and make it into two separate ones because I'm gonna make like an extension because uh, that's something I didn't take into account is is the, the seat being kind of close to your hand right there. So let, let me get to the right position. Honestly, it's feeling pretty damn good right there. There we go. That was pretty spot on. Cut it off and uh, we're good. And I just eyeballed it and look at how close that is. Cool, now we got two. So it turns out these can be used inside of, of the brackets. They're not intended to be, but it'll work if you run out of hardware like I just did, or I should say run out of appropriate hardware. It's like we're in business. Okay, let's work on this now. Something like that. It's nice to be able to actually put it exactly where you want with no compromises. So, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go with right there. Look at this. Look how perfectly in line the shifter is. This is in fourth gear, so this is straight. Look how, it was like it was meant to be. So I'm gonna run this cable through the middle of the profile. That'll help keep it safe. Okay, same thing with this. I'm going to run the cable directly through. And there we have it. How does that look? Looks legit, right? Looking good. Let's see how she runs. Hello, willow, 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 willow. Everything's all hooked up, ready to go. Feels great. I just spent uh, maybe 30, 45 minutes on getting the pace notes how I want them. So. We're gonna see if this makes me faster and more confident. Of course it's gonna make me more confident, but we're gonna see if it makes me faster. So it's called RP 2009 Shakedown 2. And we're gonna be in my car. Okay, well my stage time used to be three minutes and 40 seconds before I did the uh, all the changes. I have not done this in VR yet, so this is gonna be kind of new. Fast junction, 300. Left, caution. Never Two left, six to gear. Crest and to have a crest. Don't cut. Three right, one hundred. By right, into by left. Or right, long, two hundred. Six left, eighty. 
Caution, slow, two right. Titans into don't cut. Creep left, 70. Bit of rough turn. Two right, don't cut. Five left. Six right, long, at the crest, 300. Right, yeah. caution, very tight to left. Four right, caution, slow. One left, don't cut. Caution, slow. One left, long, caution. Two left, into caution. One right, opens, 100. Keep left of of a crest, three right long, caution, but jumps into two left, tightens, 100. Two right, into caution, slow, two left. What was that, Pedro? Keep left, into caution, slow, into two left, four right. Stay middle, into jump, unseen. Into the crest, into caution, four left. Three right, tightens, into the crest. Another crest, into five right. Two left, don't cut, 40. Woo. Three right, Almost long. That one. Six left, into caution, the bump. Four right, into three left, into caution. Three right, into the crest. Four left, 30, three right, two left, tightens, rubber crest. Two left, caution, slow, two right, long, into caution, slow, into happy left, don't cut, 100. Five right, caution, 30, happy right, don't cut. Right. Three left, don't cut. Five left, into caution. Okay, well done. Okay. We got a 306. That's uh, 34 seconds better. And at an average speed of almost 90 kilometers an hour. Kilometers? Did I just say kilometers? <laughs> I'm going to put a link to everything I've bought to make this work and hopefully you can use it to modify yours if you're working on adding things to your ProSimu 2M unit. Anyway, have a good day, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.